Chris Rodinas, Research Analyst for IT Creations, and today we'll be taking a look at the IBM System X iDataplex DX360 M3 Compute Server from IBM. Though the DX360 is considered to be a high-performance server, it is also geared towards being used in data centers that have limited space, strict cooling, and focus on conserving energy. The model in front of me is the 2U Performance Computing Node, which is designed with a single system board and an expansion I.O. enclosure to accommodate the GPUs, and can handle two Intel Xeon 5600 series CPUs. The DX360 has a memory cap of 384 gigabytes of RAM and can support up to four 2.5-inch SATA SAS or SSD drives with transfer rates of up to six gigabits per second. With a 19-inch wide and a 20.25-inch deep chassis, this server averages 46 pounds and can fit in all standard enterprise racks. Now, let's take a closer look at the chassis starting on the left side. Here we can see four 2.5-inch hard drives with the main power button and system LEDs next to it. On the I.O. panel, you'll find all of your connections for VGA, USB, and serial ports, as well as the Intel dual port gigabit LANs. On the side is a slot for a PCIe expansion card and mounts to attach a rail kit. On the back of our server, you'll see the rear exhaust for the fans and a 750 watt power supply. Now, let's open up the chassis and take a look at what's inside. Let's first look at the system board. You'll notice the power plane and cabling for all of the hard drives. You have power cables and connections for your front panel and next the DIMMs for CPUs one and two. This server supports RAM at speeds of 800, 1066, and 1333 MHz with a maximum of 384 GB with 1232 GB quad rank DIMMs installed. Moving on, you can see the mini SAS cables connected to the optional RAID card, which in this case is an LSI M1015 6 GB per second PCIe card that has support for RAID 0, 1, and 10. Let's move on to the I.O. enclosure. In this server, we have two NVIDIA Tesla M1060s and an InfiniBand 10 gigabit EQSFP card installed. If you want to do high performance computing in clusters, you'll want at least one Tesla GPU and a very high bandwidth piece of hardware, such as an InfiniBand card. The DX360 can run a wide variety of operating systems, including Windows 2008 Server Edition, Linux Red Hat Enterprise, and even VMware's ESX and vSphere operating systems. We ran some CPU benchmarks using Sandra SI Lite, so let's take a look at how it did. The processor arithmetic score came out to 277.77 giga operations per second when configured with dual Xeon 5650 CPUs and 133 giga operations when using two L5520 CPUs. Next, we ran the floating point shader benchmark on the same utility and got a score of 1,005.02 megapixels per second. It's important to note that real-world performances may differ, especially depending on your needs. Overall, the DX360 is a powerful, energy-efficient server with a wide range of available uses with its Tesla M1060 GPU, 384 gigabytes of available RAM, and dual Intel Xeon 5600 series CPUs. Well, that's all for the DX360. If you want more information, feel free to visit us online at itcreations.com or call us at 818-975-3100. I'm Chris Rodinas, and we'll see you next time.